All right, what's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So the Xbox and Bethesda uh, 2022 game showcase just went down, a highly t anticipated event, a lot riding on this show, and uh, there it was about 90 minutes, a lot of content, not necessarily all good, and we're going to get into that. We're going to talk about the announcements, the games, and I live stream it, streamed it, of course. You should go check that out. Also uploaded a a uh, nice little video to my reaction to finally seeing gameplay of Starfield if you want to go and check that out. So let's get right into it. So um, got a few websites open uh, with the list of everything shown. Not sure if this is in, I think this is in uh, chronological order of how it was shown. I believe so. So Redfall. I want to go through these things pretty swiftly. Redfall, not impressed. Redfall kind of looks like, um, uh, you know, back for blood. You know, Back for Blood, which was also also came to Game Pass um, at its release, I believe. You know, co-op, uh, shoot 'em up. It's pretty. It pretty much looks like Back for Blood with uh, with uh, vampires and a few unique abilities that the players have. Uh, you know, that initial CGI trailer. You know, um, that announcement trailer that we got like last year made it look pretty promising and I'm um, pretty impressive. But you know, that's what those trailers are supposed to do. Gameplay tells a you know a a real story. Now. You know, I just think it's going to be one of those games that come and go. I don't think this game is necess is moving the needle or really going to impress anybody or it's not blowing anybody out of the water. A lot of developers have been trying to recreate the magic of Left 4 Dead, right? But the industry and gaming has changed to where I don't think anybody could do that because games like this are a dime a dozen and they don't really have a lot of staying power i i believe that's what i feel i don't really feel like they have a lot of staying power you know because they autumn they really just boil down to being just some co-op shoot 'em ups pew 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 um you know with your friends and a lot of these co-op shooters really they really depend on the the fact that you're playing with your friends rather than actually making sure that the game itself is good and fun right because a lot of these games are not fun by themselves they're only fun because you're playing with friends and that's a major flaw so i feel like bro this game is going to come out and you know um it's coming out oh 2023 it's not even coming out this year 2023 it's going to come out, and within a month, it's going to fall off the face of the earth. That's my thoughts on, on Redfall. So not something I'm interested in. Y'all know I'm not really crazy about co-op games. There's a few exceptions. Uh, Hollow Knight Silk Song. Um, I've never played the original Hollow Knight. For all I've been told, it's an amazing game. People have been anticipating the sequel, Silk Song, for a very long time. So, you know, that's a good addition to Game Pass. And by the way... I, I called it before. I mean, it's you don't need like to be Miss Cleo to figure this out. That the whole thing, this whole conference, was really going to be a Game Pass booster. That's all. It, that's and that's all it really was. It, because a lot of the content, and there's a there's a a, a little infographic that showed all the games um, that are coming to Xbox Game Pass within the next twelve months. Ninety percent of them just fodder. Game Pass fodder, you know, just throwaways, nothing that it's really they're, they're trying to impress people by by quantity and by volume of games that they throw in Game Pass, not necessarily the quality and the type, but the number, because a lot of these games, when you look at the list of them, it's like, bro, like people would maybe be excited for maybe six of those and the rest of them are kind of throwaways like xbox is killing it when it comes to the variety and the diversity of the of the games they're they're showing but the but they're not showing a whole bunch of like singular games that are like blowing people's socks off they're trying to just throw an army and no, a number of games at you and be like oh look at how much you have to play but it's like yeah cool but like none of these are like like um amaze amaze balls or like oh my god you know like None of these are thrilling and like really exciting people like that. They're not exciting the masses like and it's like I don't even feel like Xbox is catering to their core fan base. Like when I look at a show like this, I'm like. I don't think this impresses the Xbox core fan base based on what I know their core fan base to be and what the core fan base wants. 
I'm like, who are they catering to? It feels like they're catering to like, and this may align with their mission goals and everything where it's just like they want Xbox to be everywhere, right? So the games they put in their show and the things they, tr and the games they try to push are not necessarily for their core fan base. It's just for the average everyday person that may play uh, Xbox anywhere in the ecosystem. Cause you know, they're all about that. They're not, I don't feel like they're really um, trying to uh, really like specifically and in, in, in like, I don't think they're specifically trying to like make an identity of what Xbox games are. You know, like what what is the identity of Xbox games? Like I I really don't know. I I, I can't tell, man. Like you know, I, I don't know. Let me let me let me move on. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, I just like I don't even know who they're catering to, but they're they're making a puck. They're putting, you know, Game Pass on Samsung TV. So it's like they're just trying to do this this strategy to put things everywhere and um, have a variety of games that may uh, cater to people that may stumble upon it. You know, that's what it seems like. Anyway, let's move on. High on Life um, is a game from the. Uh, creator of Rick and Morty. It looks kind of goofy. Uh, don't care about it. There was, by the way, there was not one game in this entire showcase that I looked at and I was like, that's a day one. Not one. That is a 90 minute show. And I'm not being hard. I'm, uh, you know, on the show, I'm not being super harsh because even last year, th their show, I was like, yeah, I would buy that. I would buy that. I would buy that day one. This show, not one thing they did did they show that I was like, oh yeah, that's a day one for me. Not one. <clears throat> um, Riot Games on Game Pass. Not much to say about that. You know, like I said, they're trying to feed you know these different types of games, and um, it, it, it's really about games that could bring. They love the games that would bring people together. Like have people play together that, you know, they, they love those type of games to put in the game pass because, you know, it makes sense like games, multiplayer games, co-op games, games that encourage people to play together. Those are the, the games that they try to get for game pass. Right. But those are not the games that are necessary and they, they don't care. They don't really care about this. Those are not the games that are like changing the narrative about Xbox, as you know, and like trying to if you're trying to get people into the xbox ecosystem though the, the, these those are not the games that are going to do it really people are sure subscribing and getting into game pass because yeah it's a deal it's a good deal but not necessarily because of the games itself it's because it's a good deal you know so it's like a plague's tale requiem i'm not going to say anything bad about the a plague's tale but i never played the first one i i tried to convince myself to get into it but like i kept on looking at gameplay but it just didn't look fun to me. Um, it it kind of seemed like one of those games where you just walk a lot. Requiem um, seems like it has a lot more combat and fun gameplay. But yeah, the first one I just wasn't able wasn't able to get into, and I'm not about to just jump jump into the second one. So you know, to me, um, it's not for me. Um, Forza Motorsports. So this doesn't have a number on it. Which what are they? What would they be up to? Forza seven or eight? So I think it's like a, a reboot, kind of. And uh, the game looks amazing. Listen, you can't say anything bad about Forza, um, whether it be Horizon or the mainline series. They, they, got that, they got that shit on lock as far as like the, the racing you know, genre on consoles. They got it on lock. Um, and of course, it's on PC also, right? So there's nothing bad you can really say about it. Looks amazing. Look like it plays amazing. I'm not into racers, though, so it's something I, I couldn't care less about. Um, Flight Simulator. You know, of course, nothing I could say about that. I don't care about Flight Simulator. Overwatch 2, I don't like Overwatch. I could not care less about Overwatch. And it, it, because I'm, it, it's funny because it's like Microsoft acquired. It's so weird that Microsoft seemed to acquire a whole bunch of studios that I didn't care about. A whole bunch of games, a whole bunch of studios that have that that make games that I didn't care about prior to the acquisition like i i've 
y'all know I never liked Overwatch. I think Overwatch is trash, honestly. And they just acquired a whole bunch of studios and games. Like, listen, I didn't play these games before y'all acquired them, so I'm not going to play it now. It's funny that they, like, barely acquired any studios that that made games that I were in that I was into before. Like y'all just how did y'all just like happen to acquire a whole bunch of stuff? Y'all 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 acquired a lot and y'all uh, uh you know happened to acquire a lot of stuff that I wasn't even into. Um Aura History Untold. This game looked like it could be like Civilization or Age of Empires or something like that. Elder Scroll Online, High Seas, I don't give a damn about Elder Scroll. Don't like it. Fallout, I don't like Fallout. Forza, more racing. I don't like racing. Arc 2, Arc 1 was trash. Not playing that. Definitely not playing nothing that stars Vin Diesel. Uh, <laughs> Scorn. Scorn, this game is going to be trash when it comes out. I, I, I will put any amount of money this game scores below like a 70 on Metacritic. Like, I, I, I'm, okay, great. It's finally coming out. But like, this game seems to be trying to sell itself more on being gross and being weird and kind of gory than actually being a good game because every they showed like this when is the last we've seen this game for years and it's never been like impressive gameplay it's just been oh more gross shit more gross things it's like okay game's gonna be trash flintlock siege of dawn this game actually looked decent this looked decent I don't have anything to say about it. I actually want to see more gameplay. Um, this is one of the few games where I was like, doesn't look bad. I need to see more. I'm intrigued. Show me more. Um, Minecraft Legends. Definitely don't give a damn about no Minecraft. Lightyear Frontier. This was this was like, they, they made a mech game. This is a mech game that it's literally just farming simulator. Oh, yeah. Make a mech game. Put a mech in your game, and, and, and instead of doing some cool stuff with it, let's farm. Anyway, next, Gunfire Reborn. Don't care about that. Some I don't. Game Pass fodder. The last case of Benedict Fox. This game actually looked decent. Looked like it had a uh, look. Looked like it had, could have a decent um story. Um, some interesting gameplay. Looked a bit unique. Um, nice premise. Nothing bad to say about it. It's a maybe. As Dusk Falls. Definitely don't give a damn about this game. Um, Naraka Blade Point. Why are they even showing this? Like, isn't, wasn't, I feel like Naraka Blade Point, didn't this game go to like mobile like years ago or something like that? Isn't it technically an old game, but what is it, just going to, um, just going to uh, Xbox now? <coughs> I don't know. Either way, I don't give a damn about it. Uh, Pentiment. Um, I actually don't even remember what this what this is. Oh hell! Oh that? Yeah. I now I remember. I turned away because when I seen this, I was like, "Ain't no way I'm playing that." I'm like, "What even is that, bro?" Grounded. I'm not playing no trash ass. Grounded. Not playing. Honey, I shrunk the little nigga. Not doing it. This game. This might actually be the best thing they showed in the entire conference. This looks good. It looks like a, like kind of like an action adventure stealth game. It kind of looks like um, Aragami, which is like a spiritual successor to, um, to, uh, to Tenshu, right? I, if you, you know, some of you may have heard me talk about Aragami. It's a stealth action adventure game, very similar to Tenshu. And this game reminded me of it. Like, the character turning into a shadow and and it's stealth. That's literally what Aragami is. I was like, yo, this this looks like it could be Aragami 3 almost. Um, but this might be the best thing they showed in in the entire 90-minute showcase, in my opinion. Um, so I actually look forward to that. Some of this stuff, I'm not some of this stuff isn't even um aren't even exclusive. You know, some of this stuff is multi-plat. Um, but of course, you know, uh I'm not sure which ones are and which ones aren't because you know as they should in a show you know they don't want to promote the game being on another platform of course they're going to tell you it's on xbox and not on anything else so i got to see if that you know um which one of these games are going to be on other platforms or whatever diablo 4 i think they said diablo 4 is still going to you know um playstation and all that stuff i'm not into diablo not my thing 
Sea of Thieves. Obviously, I ain't playing no damn Sea of Thieves. Like, come on, miss me with that, bro. Uh, I give Sea of Thieves credit for being one of those game live service games that started out rough. I still think it's trash. It's not my type of game. Um, but it found a fan base. It, it's a it's a stable game. You know, it has a stable fan base. Ravenlock. Yeah, some. Yeah, it says action pack fairy tale game. Nothing I care about. Cocoon. You play as like a bug in and what is it? Some survival game or something like that. It seems. Well, an action game, I guess. Uh, yeah. Not interested. Wo Long. This is made by Ninja. Th uh, Ninja Team Ninja. Excuse me. Um. Interesting. I'm interested. You know, Team Ninja makes really good action um, action games, so I'm interested. Going to Game Pass Day 1, I guess that could be a good thing. You know, we got to see how, you know, <clears throat> see how it looks. Got to see more gameplay. Um, and the Persona games, Persona 3, 4, and Royale, uh, and Royal, uh, going to Xbox, uh, good for them. They've been waiting on it a long time, but I would argue if you're really a Persona fan, did you really wait all, all this time for it to come to Xbox? I question that, you know, like, I just don't believe that. I just don't believe in that. Like, you really want to play something, but you're waiting for it to come to your platform. I just don't, I just don't buy that, you know, like, if you're actually a Persona fan, and there's some exceptions to this, you know, you know. There's some exceptions and reasons why maybe somebody didn't play it yet. But if you're if you're really a Persona fan, I believe you played these already. And you played them where they were available years ago. Uh, Kojima did a photo op. They, they, they parade Kojima around like he is literally a trophy. Like the man got on there just to say a few words like he's working on a project in collaboration with Xbox Game Studios. We know nothing about it. I think they said, it, it, so it's a new game. It, it's a cloud game. Um, that doesn't mean it's going to be a, a streaming only game, but they're doing something with the cloud. And we don't know nothing about it. He, it was just a photo op. Because it's funny because you don't see that with really no other developer. Because the, the way they, I'm telling y'all, the way they treat Kojima because of, because of the clout he has is so absurd. It's not absurd, but it's like, it's so ridiculous to me though, still like, the fact that he can just, he has so much, the Kojima name is so big, he could literally just show up to a, 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 a showcase, not say anything about a game, really, not show the game, but him being there is enough. Like, what? Come on, bro. Come on, dog. <clears throat> and then, apparently, the last thing was Starfield. Once again, my uh, reaction to this is live. Maybe you watched uh, my, my, uh, my live stream, and uh, listen, I'm not... I'm not impressed. Uh, I'm not impressed, but Starfield is not my type of game anyway. I'm not into like these type. I don't. I don't like Fallout. I don't like um, Skyrim. So people, you know, people have been saying Starfield is Skyrim in space. I don't like these type of like space exploration games or Skyrim and Fallout. I don't like none of those type of games. The only thing I actually the, let me take that back. The only thing I like somewhat. Like this game is Outer Worlds. I I really liked the first Outer Worlds. I thought it was great. So and I definitely will be picking up, picking up Outer Worlds two day one. That's the only exception. The rest of these games don't like them. And once again, people have to understand when you hype something up, it has to live up to that expectation. So Starfield looking good as some some people think it is. I think most people are underwhelmed. But Star Starfield looking good is not good enough because y'all hyped it to the high heavens once again. Y'all said this is going to be the, you know, the second coming. Y'all said it was going to be the best thing since Pants with Pockets. Y'all acted like this game was going to shake the industry. It was going to be groundbreaking. It was going to be cutting edge. Everybody's going to get put on notice. And when if you don't say all that stuff, then it just being a good or even, you know, cool game is fine enough. But you can't tell me you look at that and think that uh, like, oh, yeah, that game is revolutionary. It's in it's super innovative. And like, no, no, it's not smoking and, and you know, knocking nobody's socks off. I don't think other developers are looking at that. 
and people talk about oh the the size and the scale of the game like who bro like all that stuff means honestly don't mean much to me like when people talk about oh it's it's the size and this and the, and the scale um when it comes to like if if the density isn't there, if you can travel to a thousand planets, but the the thousand but but like nine hundred of them are empty, what does that do for me? What does that do for you? What is like I, I've heard similar things. This is akin to like No Man's Sky and the promises that Sean Murray made. I'm not saying the game is gonna turn out exactly like that, but you know, it's all smoke and mirrors. It's it's all buzzwords. Like, oh, th you could visit a thousand planets. Look at everywhere you can go. Okay, so you could travel a whole bunch of places. What does what does that mean? What does that do? That doesn't translate to a, an amazing game or amazing gameplay. Like, it doesn't do doesn't mean anything. That's just me though. Uh, let me just just double check these to make sure I didn't miss anything. Um. But yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to like drag this out too long. There's, there's no reason to because overall, this was this was below mid. If I had to give this show a score, I'm giving this a three out of ten, and that's me because based on what I like in games, not based on platform or anything like that. Because y'all know I don't play the I don't play these type of games. On, on even on PC, I have a PC, I have a PlayStation. I don't play these type of games on PC or PlayStation either. I'm consistent with the type of games I play. Y'all could y'all could check the type of games I get hyped for. It's a it's consistent across all platforms. You don't see me playing these games, these type of games nowhere. So, like I said, like I would, I should download um, what I'm gonna call it, uh, Hollow Knight. Try it out. I would try that out. Um, that stealth game, I would try. I would try that out. But like, yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't play these type of games, bro. These these not my bag. It's not my thing. And Xbox seems to be leaning in on games that just tend to not be my thing, which is. And I don't even think it's not only my thing. I think a lot of it's not a lot of people's thing. I feel like Xbox um, kind of pushes games that people feel like they can get anywhere else in the industry by like third party developers, right? Like when you go to Xbox, it honestly doesn't feel like I'm getting something special from Xbox. It feels like I'm getting something that Xbox is making that I can just get every anywhere else. That's what it, that's what that's what it feels like to me. That's what it feels like. Um so hey man, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. Uh, Weapon Wheel is literally like in, a, in an hour. I want to need to take a break from all the, from all this mid that they showed. Definitely got to take a break from this mid. Um, but yeah, they hyped this uh, Xbox dudes hyped this conference up, and and I, I I already heard them talking about uh you know next year next year oh man we talking about next year already it before it was literally before this conference it was like wait till this conference. Now they already talking about next year. You already talking about next year, bro? Come on, man. Xbox, Xbox got y'all in a in a perpetual like prison, okay? In a perpetual time prison, bro. They they using the time stone on you, mofos. Like with Doctor Strange, um, <laughs> did the what's his name? Just just an infinite time loop, bro. They got you mofos in an infinite time loop just 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 waiting and waiting on games, bro. Like it's bad out here. Oh, I'm just checking the text message. Yeah, um my bad. But yeah, they they just that's that's what Xbox is. Xbox is like Xbox, yeah, Xbox would be Doctor Strange and y'all would be Dormammu because he, they got y'all in this infinite time loop and ain't nothing y'all could do about it. Yeah, I just keep waiting and waiting and yeah, y'all need to, y'all need to accept his bargain and just like end, end the joint. Anyway, um, I'm out of here, y'all. I uh, will catch y'all on Weapon Wheel. We'll catch y'all on the next video. Follow me on Twitter. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. I'm out of here. Peace.